Hello, this is Yurat again with another video. This time I'm going to show you guys how to program as using C language with Visual Studio. First, we need to be sure we have the, Visual, uh, the C++ package already installed. So if you, if you have your Visual Studio 2019, go to the Visual Studio. Uh, I'm sorry. First, uh, be sure you download Visual Studio 2019. And then when you use uh, using Visual Studio Installer, you go to Modify. And then we'll be sure you have these three check and, ins and install. I already have mine installed, so I'll need to do that. Okay. Next, go ahead and launch Visual Studio 2019. Click Launch. Now we're going to go ahead and click create a new project. Just wait. We're going to go to language, and as you guys can see, there's no option for the C language. There's C++ and C Sharp. We're going to click C++, click Empty Project, start from scratch with C++ for Windows, provides no starting file. Click that, click Next. Uh, for me, I'm going to keep it a def keep as the default name, what it is. Uh, location, I am going to change it to something more to my per personal preference. Okay, but you guys can put whichever location, whichever, whatever name. Be sure this box is checked. This solution project is in directory. Click create. Just wait. Depends on the ch your system, it varies how fast things lo loads up. On the right hand side, I have my solution explorer window, and here I have my source file folder. I'm going to right click it, click add, click new item, click C file, CPP, and on the name, I'm going to change it to main.c the c extension uh, presents the c language location i'm going to keep it how it is so it's recommended to keep your location of the project and the location of the um, item or in this case the the main.c and the same folder okay click add just wait as you guys can see, now I have my C language uh, source file here. And now we can do some programming in C language using Visual Studio. So just to give you a little example to see if it works. Okay, write down my header. Oops. Um, let's go ahead and just do a simple print. All right, so here we can either use the if you have 86 bits or 64. I just do a 64 since I already have a 64 bits computer. 
uh, but both of them should be work. They both work fine if you have if you do have a 64-bit computer. Uh, click here, local Windows debugger, and just wait. You're gonna see stuff going on over here saying build started. Something going on here. And there it goes. Hi. Then we press any key to close this window, click enter, and there we go. So that was pretty much it. So as you guys can see, because they don't they don't give you that option for a C language, we have to like modify it, the C to a C language. Alright, uh, please comment below and subscribe to my videos and check out my other videos. Thank you, goodbye.